Okay, this is a quick tour of my very basic Recycle Parts home server. We've got two two and a half inch drives out of laptops. They're out of old recycled laptops. These are each 250 gigabytes. They are just connected to the motherboard via SATA. Um, I've given them power and they're in a ZFS RAID. Perfect to mirror. They are mirrored to each other. Uh, it's a very simple, very lightweight, small, low priority backup. This is actually my separate offsite backup box. So this box for me will only get plugged in when I want to write data to this backup. I've then got a slightly larger boot disk, which I use as a scratch area for the rest of the box. If I'm doing anything on it. SATA again, hosting the operating system. No big deal. I actually could put another disk in. I have one SATA header left. The case is an old Dell case. The cooler came from the Dell that it was in. So it's a stock Intel cooler. This is a 250 millimeter fan, which is quite ghetto held in with some uh, cable ties, but it's silently hold, you know, doing its job. The purpose of this was to pull air just through the case. There was little, precious little cooling and these were getting quite warm, okay? The CPU and the motherboard. So the CPU is an Intel Core 2 Duo E6750, recycled from another machine. The motherboard I bought off eBay for £12, and it's a stone computer, socket 775, and it has up to four memory slots. I've only populated it with two. There was a whole smorgasbord of memory in this machine until just tonight. In fact, this video might lead into a conversation about this memory. Watch this space. Uh, so two sticks of two gigabytes giving us four gigabytes total. The whole machine runs Ubuntu Server 1604 LTS. So that's going to be good until at least, I believe, 2021, before I need to worry about it again. But as I say, this is a machine I go and pick up, plug in, and use when I want. We don't have any other cards. There's nothing else here. Um, at the moment, it's booted on the memory stick because we're performing a memory test and I have Ethernet to it. And generally, there's no uh, there's no VGA in there. It's a headless box. In fact, it will be placed downstairs later. The machine itself is on my network. Its uh, MAC address is known to my network, so it gets a consistent logical name whenever I plug it in, wherever I plug it in on my network. And... That's it, really. There's absolutely nothing special about this machine. You could put this together from any old Dell box you've got, any old recycled PC, anything you want. There are cheapest chips on eBay. Buy the cheapest, oldest, nattiest one just for the case and then put something else in it. And this is obviously what I would call Core 2 era heaven because all the parts are still useful. They are still very good at processing this um, E6750 is 2.6 gigahertz uh, dual core. It does a damn fine job of the things I need it to do. But it costs nearly nothing. It costs pence. Um, I have plans in the future to replace this cooler, replace uh, some other bits and bobs. I'm certainly going to get it more RAM, but for now, 4 giga gigabytes uh, on a dual core at 266 gigahertz speed absolutely faultless i will put the uh, video about the memory in next it's going to save me time see you soon now this is the under desk server again uh, this is the core 2 duo and um i was going to upgrade it tonight um and have i have upgraded the memory so this is two sticks of two gigabytes ddr2 800 branded samsung okay um these came from China. They took about a month to get here. They cost just over four pounds each. In fact, they were four pounds 13 each. They came in little wrappers like this. They replace the old two gigabytes worth stick total. So I've now got four gigabytes in the box um, and still got two memory sticks, uh, memory slots empty. And they work, well, they seem to work so far, as we can see by this test. You'll have to forgive the uh, ad hoc uh, look here. Obviously, this is my very low-resolution camera 
and this is a flickery old plasma TV. But the sticks of RAM are working. I will link the buyer below from eBay. I will link the blog below so you can have a look there. But I'm very impressed right now. So the first thing I had was the eBay listing showed them as being 666 megahertz. And in fact, the stickers on them says 667 megahertz. I don't know why. I've plugged it in here. I've done nothing but, but start up a Memtest 86. And they're quite clearly 800. I did pay for 800. It's £4.13. It's a level of money I don't care about. But that's four gigabytes of RAM for £8.26. That's impressive. Now, obviously, I'm living in uh, socket 775 heaven. I'm living in the place where uh, all the equipment is obsolete. It's all pretty old. It's all considered so. But the amount of things you could do with a box like this, this is a perfect starter home server. It's an old Dell box. It's got a recycled 775 stone PC motherboard in it. It's got a Core 2 Duo E6750, which I will tell you, that's running two cores at 266 megahertz, sorry, 2.66 gigahertz. That's really nice. It is a really nice little box. This machine now, apart from making me want to buy more RAM and having to share RAM for the graphics, which is why this doesn't say uh, 4024, uh, whatever it is, uh, blah, 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 you know what I mean, uh, 4096. Uh, it's fine. It's absolutely fine. This is working a treat. So it's currently passing everything so far. Um, I am not going to trust this in production for a while, but I've added a fan. I've put it in a box. I've got three hard drives in there. It works. I've actually got two of them as two and a half inch drives, which are recycled from laptops. They're in a mirror on ZFS. So I've got some backup storage and I've got a larger SATA three and a half inch hard drive that it all boots from and works from. That is completely separate to this video, really. I'll give you a brief tour in a tick. But I am just so impressed at this uh, this memory. It took an age to get here. It took an age to get here, but it's worked out the box.